Hello and welcome back. Well, I wanted to give you an update on the solar hot water heater. Uh, made some changes to it and it's working pretty good. And uh, so what I've got here, I've just got a simple thermostat. This is a heating and cooling thermostat. So you can set it to either heat or cool. So I've got it set to cool. And if you can make that out or not, but it's uh, set it set to come on at 75 and it's currently 85 right here where it's at this is the temperature here um, and when that comes on that kicks the pump on and I've just got a pump down here in my nutrient tank and that kicks kicks on there and starts circulating the water now it's about well, let's say 85 degrees outside here the water's running there let me see if I can get a temperature reading and that's going to be hard to see try to hold it in there and get it right all right so anyway that that is reading 99 Okay, so it's reading 100 degrees right now, going through there. So, that's really good. So, 100 degrees there, it's coming out. The water at the bottom of the tank where it starts, um, I checked it, it was at 63 degrees. So it's bumping that temperature up quite a bit. Um, I'm only circulating probably a, Let's see, I measured that, so it was about a gallon a minute. So this tank here is 300 gallons, so 300 minutes. Take five hours to circulate all the water through there, which this time of year, I'm probably only getting four hours of uh, good sunlight back here on, the, on, the, on this array here. Um, but I'm really happy with that so I mean it's I'm just running the pump so it's pretty much free and these are if you look at other videos these are CPVC pipes they're just screwed onto some galvanized steel roofing material and they're they've got caulking on there to make it better adhesive to it to uh, conduct the temperature better into the pipes and then everything's just sprayed black. Now at this other end, let me show you that. So over here on this end, um, see I rerouted the pipe so the water's coming up through this line here and then it starts into the ray and runs zigzags back and forth and drains in the tank. And I put up on this side a backflow preventer which the idea with that is when the pump kicks off that'll let air into the end of the pipe into here and that will help drain everything back into the tank so because I don't want to have to worry about this uh, you know if it gets down to freezing that it, anything freezes in there and last year what I had I've got this roll of insulated blankets that I just roll down at night and then I had even had insulation panels here that I was putting on top of that because I couldn't drain it all back like I can now so uh, I probably won't even have to use any of that so overall I'm real happy with that um, the length of that it's 20 feet long and 4 feet wide so that kind of gives you the idea of the size so it would be worth making a smaller one and put it in a different location uh, making it out of copper and get even better heat transfer and even those uh, evacuated tubes um, those are supposed to be very efficient too so it'd be worth doing something like that spending a little more money on, like on copper um, to make it and heat heat different areas or as an addition too so anyhow that's kind of 
where that's at. So appreciate you watching and please uh, subscribe and any comments, let me know. Thanks a lot.